Hey kids, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. If you're new here, welcome. Kick your feet up, relax. It's good to see you. Nice to meet you. My name is Jared. If you're a returning member, of course you know my name is Jared. It's awesome to see you again. You look great, by the way. Have you lost weight? I can tell. Today's title, How to Be a Good Asshole. Now, I know this title might sound a little counterintuitive, because it looks like I'm actually inviting you to become a good asshole. Yeah, pretty much, that's what I'm doing. And because I'm inviting you to be a good asshole, you're probably wondering, Jared, why would I wanna be a good asshole? Asshole is just asshole. It's a negative thing. I don't wanna be either. Well, if you sit with me for the rest of the video, I'm gonna explain the difference, and hopefully, at the end, you're gonna be well on your way to becoming the best damn good asshole you can be. A good asshole is somebody who is confident and they're, they're confident, they're assertive individuals who basically that their head's up a little bit above the crowd. They don't play small, they don't have that sheep or that herd mentality, they kind of go their own way. And they don't really take a lot of crap from people. This is a good asshole. They stand up for what they believe. They stand up for what they believe is right. They actually stand up for other people who may be a little weaker than them or who can't really find their voice. A good asshole will step in and become the voice for those people who are generally lost or maybe a little bit intimidated in that scenario. A good asshole will step up. A good asshole also has very strong boundaries and he becomes very aggressive when he needs to be when those boundaries are crossed. Now here's a list of five traits that generally most good assholes have. Number one, they're assertive. Now on the spectrum, you have somebody who's passive and then you have all the way over here, somebody who's aggressive. Right in the middle of this spectrum, is assertiveness. Now assertiveness is good being in the middle because you do have the potential to be a little bit more aggressive when you need to. And in certain situations, like maybe when you're dealing with children or a sick loved one or somebody in distress, you need to become a little more in your passive to let that person get out their feelings, to let that person get out their emotions. So being assertive, which is dead set in the middle, you can pivot. Somebody who's very passive generally is very passive in everything they do. Somebody who's very aggressive is generally very aggressive in everything they do, and they don't know how to switch. Somebody who's very assertive can switch roles. They can pivot when they need to. So being assertive is one of the best traits of being a good asshole. Another good trait, number two, is they're not a stage five clinger. This goes more in line when you're dating when you're dating your girlfriend. Your girlfriend wants you to be part of her life, but she doesn't want for you to envelope every part of her life. She doesn't want to be you to become a stage five clinger. Now a lot of guys tend to go into that role. They tend to <clears throat> put their women on such a pedestal, they put her on such a high frame that they're there to serve them in any capacity. And what happens is, a lot of times, they cling on to them. They don't want to lose them. And so they'll do anything that she wants and it suffocates her. It makes her feel like she has no air to breathe of her own. It makes her feel like she's not an individual anymore. So if you can go the opposite way and have your own friends and your own social circumstances, your own social influences, and do your own things without her, and she can go do her own things without you, you guys get to come back and you have new experiences separately that you can talk about together. So not being a stage five clinger or being clingy in any sense is a very good trait for a good asshole. The third one for a good asshole is they have very high self-esteem. 
they think very highly of themselves. And that's not an act. They talk positive about themselves. Generally, <clears throat> a good asshole is physically fit. They value nutrition. They value going to the gym. They value themselves. And they also demand that in their partners. So a good asshole may be vocal when their partner has been slacking on the gym and their partner says, hey, I'm getting a little chunky. A good asshole may agree with her and not placate to the nice guy syndrome. He may say, yeah, babe, I need you to get back into the gym. I value my health. I value the way I look. I want you to do the same. So a good asshole is not afraid to tell the hard truths to the ones that they love. They have very high self-esteem and they demand that of everybody around them. The fourth trait, they're ready for challenges that come their way. They're very resourceful. They know they have the abilities to overcome any challenges that they have and they're not afraid to take them on. Would they prefer not to have challenges all the time? Of course, everybody would, but they know that's a part of life they know challenges are a season of life and it doesn't affect them as much as other people because they're actually expecting it. And so it doesn't come to a surprise for them and they're able to use their skills, to use their personality, to use what they have. They're able to use these skills. They're able to use what they've learned to overcome these challenges. So the fourth skill set well, the fourth trait is they're ready for a challenge and they're not afraid to take that challenge on when it presents itself. And really the final one, they're just more knowledgeable in the game of life because they have a forward thinking mentality, because they're not afraid to insert or assert themselves into situations. They have more knowledge. They have more wisdom because they've done more shit. And when you have that knowledge, and you, when you know the game a little bit more than, we'll say, the regular, the common man who doesn't take on to these traits, they become a little bit more well-rounded. They become a little bit more almost set in their ways. They see things a little bit more in black and white. They don't have this gray, wishy-wash thinking that some nice guys do. And a nice guy thinks he will usually agree with his girlfriend or a girl that he likes and not stand up for himself. A good asshole doesn't do that. If he doesn't agree with you, he will tell you and he will tell you why. These are about the five traits most good assholes have. And because they typically have these traits, they generally do better in life, guys. I know they always say nice guys finish last and it is true for the most part. Good assholes generally finish far ahead of your basic nice guy. A few of the reasons are most good assholes, they're not afraid to fail. They have done stuff and failed in their life. It didn't bother them. They picked themselves back up. Failure to them is just a step in stone to success. They generally don't fall into peer pressure because they don't really look for external validation. They don't really give a shit what people think about them. And because they don't think, they don't really care what people think about them, they're not going to fall into the trap of pleasing others. They understand that people pleasers only generate takers. And because they go their own way, because they have their own mindset, they have their own thoughts, they don't really care what other people think about them. It's very freeing to be a good asshole. Their assertiveness by themselves attracts people to them because they're so confident in their abilities because they're on that spectrum of assertiveness. They're not overly aggressive and they're not overly placating to you. They're very assertive. You know where they stand and they have the ability because they're assertive, they're not coming across bossy or dominating like an aggressive person and they're not coming across as wishy-washy like a passive person. Another reason why good assholes tend to fare better in life is they're just not 
overly concerned with showing their flaws. They understand everybody has flaws. They understand that everybody, nobody's perfect. And by them being able to openly express their flaws gives other people permission to express theirs. These are just some of the traits and some of the reasons why it pays to be a good asshole. Now, if you want to start implementing this into your routine to become a good asshole, well, it's very simple. There's only four things that you really need to do to be on your path to becoming the best good asshole you can. The very first one is start building your confidence. Good assholes ooze with confidence. It's not about being perfect. It's about understanding your abilities, understanding your strengths and your weaknesses, and even doing something, even if you're scared. You're still confident that you will figure out a way. So practicing and overcoming and becoming more confident, it's really the first thing you need to do to be a good asshole. The second one is become more assertive. If you have a thought or an opinion and you decide to play it small and not tell people, start getting in the habit of telling these people your thoughts and your opinions. Try this out maybe in your social network. Maybe you're the guy in your social circle that goes out with the guys and you're the quiet one. Practice being a little bit more vocal. Practice having engaging conversations with your friends, but giving them your perspective. Don't just agree like, he, he, yeah, yeah, you're right. Aquaman is better than Superman. Fuck, no, he's not. Superman is better than Aquaman, and here's why. I don't know what your conversations are like, but what I'm saying is don't play it small. If you have an opinion or a thought, express it to others. They may learn something new, or they may have a new perspective that you told them that they didn't know. So it doesn't play ever it doesn't serve anyone for you to play small. So become more assertive. This is, the, this is like the good asshole playbook. The third thing you need to start doing is taking control of your life. Don't get passed around by like some data sheet. Take active participation in your life. Take ownership in your life and start owning your story. We did a video on you have the pen, you're the author of your own book, you're the author of your own story. Start writing your own story. Start creating really cool experiences for you that will help you gain confidence, that will help you become more assertive because you have more experience. And the fourth thing that you guys need to do or you can do is learn to let go, okay? There are some things inside of your control and there's some things outside of your control. That's just the way it is. And understanding what you can control, control them. Things that you can't control, don't dwell on them. Don't overthink. Don't create anxiety because you can't control the outcome. Don't worry about it. Having that balance of, hey, these are the things in my life I can control. These are the things I'm going to work on. I can't control these other things. So I'm not going to pay them any mind. This is just an idea I have on when people call me an asshole. I'm like, yeah, well, it's not a, that's not a bad thing to have. When people are calling you an asshole and you exhibit all of these traits, they are actually giving you a compliment. Thank them. Give them a hug, a high five. And help your friends become better, good assholes. We need more of this in the world. We need more men who can stand up, who have their own ideas, who have their own masculine frame. And yeah, they might come off as assholes. It's just because that's a rarity. And we need more men to be more, that's common. It's common for men to have ideas. It's common for men to share their thoughts. It's common for men to disagree. All of these things are completely fine. With that, my name is Jared Schoemaker. This is magnetic men's club if you found this video helpful useful do a couple things share this with your friend but also like and subscribe to this channel it helps my algorithm it helps god it helps everybody it actually helps trees grow also while you got it burn a calorie or two and reach up and hit that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped with that
My name is Jared, and we will talk soon. Thanks.